No, you probably don't actually want to build a website. You just want the website done. Of course, you could spend hundreds of dollars and have somebody else do that for you, or you can watch this step-by-step -step video and get it done in no time, maybe during your lunch break at work. My name is Pat, and I'm about to show you how to build a website on your own for not that much money. Let's dig in. First things first, you're gonna need a website host, and this is where you can go to get a really good deal. Hostinger.com slash SPI. If you use the code SPI, you'll save even a little bit more. Now, what I love about Hostinger is it's super cheap. It's relatively easy to use, and they're gonna protect your stuff, and you have great customer service, all the things you need. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna click Add to Cart, and you're gonna be presented with a number of different options here in terms of how long you wanna be billed for. And of course, the longer you go, the more you will save. I'm just gonna go for 12 months here, and you'll see if you go down below, it is currently at $38. If you use the code SPI and hit apply, you'll see that it goes down to 34. So you save a little bit, but that's okay. So I'm gonna go through this process. What also is nice is they have domain who is privacy protection. That means if a person were to try to look up who is the owner of this website that you're about to build, they're not gonna find you. Your information is safe. So I'm gonna fill in all this information. I'm gonna uh, not show you my credit card number and then I'll see you on the other side. All right, now Hostinger has an AI website builder, which is gonna make this even simpler. Um, honestly, I wish this was around when I started in 2008 because I was banging my head against the wall back then. But I'm gonna hit start creating and I'm gonna enter a brand name. Now I'm gonna build a website uh, as if I was gonna help people with their presentations. So I'm gonna do nail your presentation. Website type, I'm gonna make this a business showcase. So ideally, I'd show off some of my portfolio, uh, show some pictures of me on stage and talk a little bit about myself and what I could do for others and hopefully sign up some people that maybe I can coach or maybe I have an online course, I don't know. But I'm gonna describe my project or brand in a few sentences. And to help out, I'm gonna hit this microphone, which is super handy and just speak it out really quick. I am a professional speaker who hopes to help others with their presentations. I wanna help people make it easier to create presentations and help them gain confidence when on stage or presenting online or in a virtual conference, and even at work or at school. Presentations can be hard, and I've had over 15 years of experience, both online and offline, and I hope to offer some help to everybody online. Great, that was really cool. All right, personalized settings, uh, surprise me, minimal, elegant, bold. Um, I'm gonna go minimal, because I wanna keep this clean, and I'm sure I could always change this stuff later. And I'm gonna do colors. Let's do uh, my color palette. Let's go light, we'll go white, dark, and let's make the accent color maybe a little bit more in this sort of powder blue color. There we go. All right, and I'm gonna hit create a website and we'll see what happens. Wow, so just like that, we have a website. Now this isn't live or anything yet, and it looks like if I click up here, I could see the mobile version of this. Look at that, unleash your presentation. I could scroll down, there's some generic photos, which we'll change out later, our services. Our services include personalized coaching, interactive workshops, and conferences. Wow, this is pretty crazy that this all happened just in an instant. Now there's a spot for a logo, it seems. I can click on portfolio, and the pages are already made. That is absolutely fantastic. Now, of course, this isn't exactly what I would want, but it's pretty darn close and it at least gets us going. Okay, let's go and edit the site and then we'll figure out how to make this go live and then actually see it in real time. All right, build easier with our interactive checklist. Sure, I'm a beginner, so I want the help. Start your website journey, edit heading text. So unleash your presentation. I'm gonna uh, have this match the brand that I was doing earlier, which is gonna be nail your next presentation. So nail your presentation is the website and I'm gonna have next be capital, uh, capitalized like that. Gain confidence in nail your presentations with expert guidance and support. Um, I'm gonna make this a little bit more of a portfolio style. So I'm gonna make that a little bit more about me, uh, but it, ready, it already speaks to who this is for, but I'm just gonna go uh, a professional presentation for school, work, or your business isn't too far away. Click below to get started. Sure, uh, I like the call to action, but I don't know what this button does. It doesn't really do anything yet, but let's see, edit button. Okay, button text, um, download 
the free resource, maybe. Let's see, style, text size, I can make it a little bit smaller. You can get pretty detailed with a lot of the stuff, even as you can see with like the size of the button, but I'm gonna make the button, uh, the border width a little bit bigger, corner radius, looks like I can make it circular. I'm gonna have it be a little bit more rounded on the corners. Uh, let's see, general, link to make link no follow. Okay, that just means like Google's not gonna go to this link necessarily. Link to, uh, I don't have a web page to link to yet, so I'll figure that out later. But if I had a free resource, sure, maybe it goes to a landing page on ConvertKit, which is an email service provider, so I can capture an email, something like that. But look at this, I love this photo here um, of a person presenting. That's pretty neat. All right, it looks like I can move these sections up and down a little bit. I can add other uh, sections by just clicking here, add section. Let's say I wanna add, uh, for example, uh, testimonials from other people who have used my services or have seen me speak before. So it looks like I can click on testimonials and I can put, uh, maybe I can put one big giant testimonial there. That's pretty big, so I'm gonna shorten that. And uh, let's just kind of make up something Pat Flynn was wonderful. He helped me uh, understand exactly what it takes to nail a presentation. I got an A plus on my exam, my oral exam. Clarice Turner, sure, why not? I might make this, let's see if I can, can I make this uh, italicized? I can, fantastic, I can make it a little bit bigger. Sure. Okay, let's let's preview this. Let's just hit preview, see what happens, nail your next presentation, download the free resource. Ooh, there's like a little animation that comes up. It comes wow. This is so easy. That's really cool. Oh, happy clients. There's happy clients there. Okay, so if I go back to editor, let's say I want to delete this now. I can uh, go to this section and hit delete. And now I already have a testimonial section here. So I'm going to hit that and move this up. So now it's moved up here. Uh, let's move it up one more time. And it should be, there we go, right right under there. So we got the presentation headline uh, or the header, happy clients, about us. Uh, changing the text should be very simple. I'm gonna put about me uh, or about Pat Flynn if you want it to be third person. Uh, 15 years of on stage experience. Pat Flynn always uh, offers a dynamic presentation that wows a crowd. And he's now um, looking to find a few students to teach his, his methods to. Sure. Now, I'd love to have pictures of myself here because I'm promoting my own services. So I'm going to edit image and I'm going to replace it. And I'm going to upload a image myself of uh, me, Pat Flynn. Let's hit that, select. Hey, look, there I am. That's kind of cool. Okay, uh, this one, it looks like we could generate image. Um, a large crowd watching a keynote style presentation in a large, um, keynote hall. Uh, let's see, create image. I'm telling you, the AI being integrated into the building of a website is just absolutely crazy. I, I love it. Uh, okay, let's hit that one. And let's see. Wow, that's pretty crazy. That's almost insane looking. Look at that. There's like tiers of people up there. Uh, how are they even going to see the screen? Anyway, I'm not going to just go too deep into that, but let's go here, our services. Let's say I want to add a button here. You know, it's often important that when you're offering your services that you have a call to action button or something uh, right around that area. So let's say I want, wanted to um, delete this image and have this section be a button. How would I go about doing that? Well, check this out. I'm going to hit the plus symbol here, add element, and I'm going to go to button and I'm gonna drag and drop it there. Look at that, we have a button and I can make this a little bit bigger. It shows me the different areas where I can place it. And we're going to edit the button, uh, hire me today, exclamation point. Style, let's go, uh, let's see, change the font to Roboto. And I wanna make that bold. Let's make the size a little bit bigger, great. 
Now I want a text block on top of that. So let's go text. I can move this around like that. Um, I'm now higher. Uh, I'm now looking to coach four students for the 2024 speaking season. Click the link below to apply. All right, let me center that. Looks like there's a grid here, which is kind of nice. Let's bring that back up. The section's quite large now, so I'm gonna move that up a little bit. And again, if I have a page with a little bit more information about the hiring, I could link to that by going to edit button, link to, just put the web address there. And uh, okay, let's save this. Auto save is on, so it'll do that automatically, but I always have that habit now. I'm gonna hit preview. Nail your next presentation, a profession, profession presentation. So it should be professional. So I'm gonna go here, professional presentation, coach for school, work, <laughs> okay. Hit save, preview again, that easy to update. This is wild. Happy clients, about Pat Flynn, there I am. Our services, look at that, the button right there. Now I wanna make the button some like, you know, move or, or, or do something when I hover over it. And I think I can go here, edit button, uh, animation, no, style over hover. Let's do fill color uh, blue. Sure, so now you can see when I hover over, it turns blue, amazing. This looks like it's for a blog post, so I can edit a blog post here. That's kind of neat. It looks like this is where pages would exist. So let me go over there. So I got home, portfolio, contact. Uh, we can add another page, let's say a store. I can add an online store, which is pretty cool. Contact services. Here we go, our services. Uh, so like my services, as you can see, it added it on the upper right-hand corner there. Uh, this is the page URL. Cool. Hide page. Nope, I don't want to hide it. Save. It looks like I can drag these. So if I want to have my services be next to home, there we go. Contact is on the end. Fantastic. So now I have this link here, which is my services, right? So now I know. Let's go back to the website. Uh, let's go back to home. Now I want the services page, so hire me today. I want that to link to the services page. So I'm gonna link to dun, 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 my services. Perfect, so let's save that preview. And now when I go here, I should be able to click this button, hire me today, turns blue. Please go to my services. Boom, our services. And we can go here into different pages. Now I'm not gonna des design this entire page, but maybe a few more things I wanna share with you that are very important, right? Now, of course, when a person lands on your website, having a logo for your brand can go a very long way. So we're gonna to go to logo and we're going to replace the image. Now it says right here, use AI to create a unique logo. How crazy is that? And of course I can adjust the, the size of this and the spacing, which we'll do after we create the logo. So let's use AI to do that. I'm gonna hit create using AI, buy some credits, continue. Okay, so let's design a logo while we're here. And this is for, again, online presentations. So I'm gonna do uh, a light bulb uh, with a thumbs up as the filament filament uh, inside the light bulb area. Sure. Uh, let's make it uh, a little bit more corporate, I guess, because this is for business. Let's see, what else we got here? Minimalistic, modern and simple tech digital. Now we're gonna go corporate and let's see, I'm gonna make the uh, make the logo colorful, sure. Okay, it looks like AI is generating my logo. All right, that's actually pretty sick. I mean, these are corporate looking logos, uh, not really colorful, but um, I kind of like this one. Let's see, edit logo, let's do uh, name. We're gonna do nail your presentation. Nail your presentation. Let's see, what font do we like? That one's kind of nice. All right, I'm gonna download it. Okay, let's go back to the website. And here under logo, I'm gonna replace the image and add the one that we just downloaded. We are adding it to the media library and it's right there. So I'm gonna select it. Okay, logo's updated. And let's see, it's kind of small. So let's make it a little bigger. 
There you go. Look at that. That looks pretty sweet. Let's hit save and preview. Nail your presentation. Very cool. My services, I got a portfolio here. This is where I can put some stuff of me on stage. In fact, what, what if I'm like, okay, I wanna edit that right now. So let's go over there, portfolio. I wanna change this image to an image of me on stage, which of course images are great to help support what it is that you're offering. Replace image. All right, I finally found a really good one of me presenting in front of uh, people on a stage. That's pretty authoritative, right? Just like, mm. okay. With over 15 years of experience, professional speaker helps others nail their presentations. Nice. This one, I don't really like very well, so I'm gonna change that. Okay, that's a little, from a little bit further away. Looks like I can move these around if I wanted to. Let's go here and let's move that one there. Cool. I can add another section, uh, have more testimonials. Again, I can just kind of, you know, doctor this up however I'd like. Uh, socials, you know, I can connect my socials here, edit social icons, I can point them to where I wanna go. This is so intuitive, you know, and you can have a lot of fun with this and change things around pretty quickly, but we wanna take this live, right? We don't even have a domain name yet that we have officially put this on, but we get one for free when we sign up in this way. So let's actually go live and see what happens. So I'm gonna hit go live, edit your site for mobile. No, oh, we did that already, go live. All right, your website is now live. So there's a preview link that they send you. It is actually live, but it's not on any domain name yet. They supply that for you, and this is what it is right here. I'm just going to hit that. It opens on a new window anyway. All right, so we have the website, which is really amazing, but look at the URL. It's lightscyan slash dogfish dash 28122. I mean, the website looks great. There I am. Let's go to our services again. Perfect. Portfolio. There are those new images. Amazing, this is so easy, but we need a domain name. Now, thankfully, when we sign up, we get a free domain name with, uh, with Hostinger, which is really great. So let's go to update website. Now it says right here, claim your free domain. Get a free domain for one year and connect it to your website now. So that's what we're gonna do, connect domain. Now we can claim a free one. Again, we get the one for free with Hostinger. You can buy another domain name if you need another one, or you can use an existing one. And if you click on this one, and if you have another domain name from Namecheap or GoDaddy or something like that, it'll walk you through that process of how to connect the two. You'll have to do a little bit of stuff on both sides, but uh, this is gonna be easy because I'm just gonna hit claim a free domain and hit select. Enter desired domain name. Nail your presentation. Uh, and right now it's set to dot in. Try to get the .com if possible. When you hit search, it's gonna see if that's available. Keep in mind, don't use trademarks or things that you know you shouldn't use in the domain name. For example, I can't put uh, you know Superman presentation or something like that because Superman is trademarked, but uh, I'm gonna hit search. Nail your presentation and make sure you spell it correctly because I didn't. Nail your presentation.com. Now, if you have a uh, URL that you're set on, you know, you could potentially use one of these other ones. That's not as important to make sure to get the .com as it once was, but it's still great to have it if possible. Nailyourpresentation.com, search, and it looks like it's available. So I'm gonna hit continue. All right, this is uh, my company, and I'm gonna hit next step. Domain will be registered using these details. Again, these details, which can be a little personal. Try to use something other than your home address if possible. But uh, again, it will be hidden since the uh, who is privacy is on. Put my phone number, finish registration. All right, you're almost there back to hosting or builder. All right, if I go up here, it looks like the domain is not active yet. It will not be active until the domain is connected to hosting or name servers. It may take up to 24 hours to do that. In the meantime, your website can still be reachable through that other link that we had. So let's just go for fun to nailyourpresentation.com right now. Nailyourpresentation.com. It's actually available already. So I guess it must've just happened just like that. Let me hit refresh on this just to see. It is. So it said it was gonna take 24 hours. It took 24 seconds. It's connected and that is awesome. Now, before we finish up here, let's go to domain settings. This will take you to the back end of Hostinger where you can uh, do a few other things with your domain. If you end up selling it or moving to another host, it all happens from here. You can auto renew. We see how our who is privacy is on. 
Um, let's see, more options. You can get the .NET and other things if you want. AI-generated alternatives, presentationpros.io. That's kind of cool. Anyway, let's go back to domains. And again, you can add more domains here, do more websites. If we go to websites, you'll see the one website that we currently, uh, currently have. If you want to manage it, hit manage. Some more information, analytics, which is where it'll show you exactly how many people visited your website. But if you wanna edit, just go to edit your website. Now, finally, I wanna make sure that our website is going to be found in Google and have the best chance to rank really high when people search for it and other keywords related to our topic. So right over here on the left-hand side of the website builder, I'm gonna to go to website settings and go to SEO. SEO is short for search engine optimization. So we're gonna make sure that everything is here like we want it. It actually shows us a little bit of a preview of what our search result will look like, which is really great. My services is not looking like it's optimized yet. So let's click on that to see what we need to do. Ah, it says, tell us a brief description of this page. Great, this is calling for the metadata of this page. So Pat Flynn offers services to help you with your next presentation so you can get um, noticed at school or at work. Sure. Next step, select keywords, presentation, school, work. Next step. All right. Assistance for school and work. Sure. Now, of course, you can always update this later and change these things. Homepage optimized for Google. Let's just finish this tutorial over here. Again, the tutorial is this upper left-hand corner, the setup checklist. It looks like we are getting very close. So let's go to update social media icons. Great, I have an Instagram. Let's go to edit Pat Flynn. I don't wanna link my Facebook. Twitter or x.com slash Pat Flynn. And let's remove TikTok delete and we're good to go there. All right, let's go back to the setup checklist, updated social media icons. And then finally, check your site's mobile view, okay. Let's hit mobile view, services. Let's go back to home. It creates this little, uh, they call this a hamburger menu up here automatically, which is really neat. Now it looks like the button is not where it should be. So I'm gonna move it to where it needs to be. And what's really neat, it's gonna save all this information specifically for the mobile version of it. So I'm really glad it asked me to do this. Uh, style, text size, let's go a little bit smaller. All right. Down there, there I am. I don't know, can I change how this is cropped? Aha, there we go. So I just changed the proportions a little bit. I'm gonna move things a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna delete that one. So if I go back here, you'll see that that image is not there, but this is the more important one because it's about me. Not that I'm more important, but for the purpose of this website, and we got the blog there, cool. Now the blog is its own other thing. If you want to write articles, uh, you can edit the posts that are here and just kind of apply those, or you can add new blog posts here by clicking add new posts, and then you title them, you write, you publish, and they get placed on your website, and uh, that looks good to go. All right, update website. View site. Nail your next presentation, great. All right, finally, this contact us page, sorry, I keep saying finally, but I just wanna make sure I don't leave you hanging. Um, how do we know where this goes or where this ends up? Well, let's scroll down and play with it for a little bit. So contact us, edit form, very easy. Let's go, um, you know, reach out to me. Reach out to me. Reach our out to me. There we go. So that's the form name. Uh, email, this is the email where it will go. So that's how you know where it will end up once a person submits. Fields, we can add more fields if we want to. Uh, for example, if I wanted to uh, add a paragraph and I want that paragraph to say, um, tell me about your presentation or what presentation are you working on? Write your info here. Field is required. Sure, that means it needs to be filled out or else it won't submit. Uh, let's go to button, button text. 
um, read, uh, like, let Pat know now. Cool. Style. Sure, that's great. Animation. Fade, slide, scale. Ah, so that's when we're scrolling down the page, that's what it looks like. So let's see what it looks like if it scales up. All right, we're done with that. Let's save it and let's update the website view. That means it's now all pushed into the live page that we have. Let's see, it should scale in right here. Nice. And a person will put their stuff there. Wonderful. All right, welcome to the new nailyourpresentation.com. I spent about 20 to 25 more minutes on this. So as you can see, within about an hour from the beginning, we were able to make this happen and make it look like this. So I doctored up the menu a little bit. I have a home page, an about me page, and a hire me page. You can see I have an image that better portrays what we're trying to do here. It's me on stage in front of a crowd. I have testimonials from people who've actually said these things about me. And then a learn more button here for learning more about me. So if I click on that, you'll see it goes to the about page. There's an image from before. I learned how to crop that actually. I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a minute because that was a little finicky at first if you don't quite know how to do that. Um, I added some social proof. I said like, hey, I'm Pat, nice to meet you. And again, I, I just added more things to make this more me and more like I'm selling my services. Key differences, uh, just another image of me in front of a crowd. Uh, this will then take us to the hire me page. I got rid of the contact page because hire me is more of like a call to action. I said, let's chat, fill out the form. And this is the form here. Of course, if a person clicks home, this just looks really nice all the way down to the footer. Footer connects to my social accounts. Now, if I go to the hosting or editor, you'll see how this is laid out. It just is laid out exactly like you just saw. Now with the images, if you wanna crop them or move them around a little bit, you click to the image and there's a crop and position button right here, which is really handy that I've seen that. So if I wanted to move uh, this over a little bit or zoom in, Maybe put me a little bit more like that. I can do that if I wanted to. So there's that option. You can always undo things as well. I just hit, uh, press Command or Control Z, and that's really simple. And then finally, the pages. This is where you include new pages. I haven't worked on the blog. Uh, this is where you would go to add more blog posts, and they would show up at the bottom of your of your page. Uh, but this is where I got rid of the contact page. I created the about page. You can reorder these if you want. Just really simple to do. And as you begin to grow and add more things to your website, you just do it here inside of Hostinger. So again, as you can see, you can do this and give it some time. A lot of this stuff is new, I know, but once you understand how it works, it's actually really simple. The most simple thing is to go to hostinger.com slash SPI and use the code SPI at checkout to make sure you save 10% off the price that you select. And again, thank you so much. Hit that subscribe button. We got a lot more stuff that's gonna help you on your business journey, especially if you're a beginner and uh, all the best to you. Good luck.